Hi, I'm Vermont Secretary of State Sarah Copeland Hansis. We have statewide elections coming up in August and November, so I wanted to give folks a heads up and let you know some of the key details for making sure that your vote is counted and your voice is heard. The statewide major party primary election is on Tuesday, August 13th. This is where you can choose which candidates will represent their party in the November general election. Unlike the presidential primary in March, you'll be given all three major party ballots and you will choose which party you want to vote in. You'll need to return the other two unmarked ballots and your voted ballot will be recorded. This is a huge election year in Vermont. Up for election in your August primary are United States Senator, United States Representative, Governor and Lieutenant Governor, Treasurer, Secretary of State, Auditor of Accounts, Attorney General, all 30 of your state Senate seats, all 150 state representative seats, High Bailiff, and your Justices of the Peace. Check out your My Voter page at mvp.vermont.gov to make sure you've registered to vote, to update your mailing address, find your polling place, request an absentee ballot if you want one for the August primary. All you need is your name, date of birth, and either your driver's license number or the last four of your Social Security to sign in. The general election is on Tuesday, November 5th. You'll vote on the finalists who made it through the August primaries, as well as on United States President and Vice President. This election will look a little different than August's. In 2021, Governor Scott signed a bill that required our office to mail general election ballots to all registered voters. Keep an eye on your mailbox in October. If you mail your ballot back, make sure you leave plenty of time for mail delivery so it gets to your clerk by November 5th. You can also hand deliver your ballot to your clerk during their regular hours or put it in your town's official ballot drop box anytime. This is a great option if your part of the state is experiencing mail delivery delays. This doesn't mean you have to vote by mail. Bring your own ballot to the polls on November 5th and fill it out there. If you don't have your ballot with you when you show up on the polls to vote, you can request a new ballot to vote there. You'll just be required to sign an affidavit that you have not already voted the ballot that was mailed to you. As I mentioned, there are a lot of statewide offices up for election this year. To help Vermonters have a better understanding of what the different election, elected positions do and who's running for them, my office will be creating a voter guide for the November general election so you can make informed decisions when you cast your vote. You'll be able to find your uh, voter guide on your My Voter page. Thanks for watching. Your vote is your voice, and please make sure that yours is heard in August and November, and be ready to shape the future of Vermont and our country. Thank you.